Hello and welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance Fall Tree. In this tutorial, we'll cover an overview of Reliance Fall Tree so you can start your own analysis. Note the details on editing fault tree analysis data will be covered in our next Getting Started with Reliance Fall Tree video. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the welcome dialog. If you do not have this open, click the Help drop down on the top right of your screen and click Welcome to Reliance. In the Welcome dialog, we make sure that Fault Tree is selected using the module selectors on the left. We will be using our drone example in this tutorial, so we click Open Example Analysis. If we had already opened the drone example analysis and made any changes, we can easily remove all of the changes by clicking Revert Example in the sidebar, which is highlighted in the message that Reliance is now showing. This is not necessary in this case, so I'll click Got It to clear the message. Reliance has opened the sample drone analysis, and we see the sample fault tree in the fault tree pane in the center. It models the possibility of a quadcopter drone collision. If we select any gate or event in the fault tree diagram, we can see its associated data in the Properties pane on the right. At this time, for example, we see the details for the quadcopter drone collision. If we select different gates or events in this diagram, we can see the data associated with the newly selected item. For example, if we click on the Emergency Landing Failure event here on the right in the fault tree, the Properties pane is updated to show its data. Additionally, Reliance supports powerful features to organize and control the size of fault trees. These can be highlighted within the All Trees pane. For organization, the All Trees pane on the left displays a list of the fault tree diagrams in this analysis. In Reliance, fault tree diagrams are designated by the name of the top gate, such as our example, Drone-COL. Top gates can also be linked to each other through the use of transfer gates. A top gate that appears as a child to another top gate is linked via a transfer gate. In this example, the L-COM gate is a transfer gate. In the fault tree pane, notice that this L-COM gate appears as a green triangle, which indicates that this gate is a transfer gate and has its own fault tree. To view the fault tree for the L-COM gate, we click the gate in the All Trees pane. We can see that the diagram shown in the fault tree pane has changed and it now shows us the fault tree for the L-COM or lost communication gate. To go back to the main fault tree diagram, we click the Drone-COL gate in the All Trees pane. Note that using transfer gates to organize fault trees and control their size does not change any of the resulting calculations. All results will be the same as if there was one large fault tree. This feature is designed to allow for breaking large fault trees into manageable subtrees to help organize a fault tree, and also assist in reusing common logic sections. So don't hesitate to take advantage of the All Trees pane to both navigate through fault tree diagrams and view relationships. Once we have completed building our fault tree, we can perform calculations. And we start that process by clicking Calculate in the sidebar. The Calculate Fault Tree dialog appears. There are many options available for fault tree calculations. Descriptions of each of these calculation options are available in the Reliance Help. For now, let's leave the default selections and click to calculate. A progress bar will show the calculation progress and the results dialog will appear when the calculations are completed. And here for our top gate, we can review various calculated results including time-based results, such as unavailability, cut sets, and importance measures. When we are done reviewing the calculation results here on the results dialog, we can optionally generate a report or simply close to return to the analysis. Note if we want to review these calculation results again without rerunning the calculation, we can click View Results in the sidebar. We'll take advantage of this feature in just a minute. Once our fault tree analysis is complete, or really at any time, we can generate a report of both our fault tree diagram and our fault tree calculation results. To generate a report of the fault tree diagram, 
we click Report in the sidebar. Reliance automatically generates a version of the fault tree diagram and opens it in a new browser tab. If desired, we can print the report or easily download it using the export feature to one of the available image types. When done viewing this report, we simply close the browser tab and go back to Reliance. To generate a report of the calculation results, we either recalculate or click View Results in the sidebar, and then we click Report from the Results dialog. The Report Options dialog appears. Here we can set a custom report title and also select the results of interest. These options correspond to the three tabs from the calculation results. For this tutorial, we'll leave all options checked and click Report. Reliance opens a text-based report of the fault tree calculation results requested. Once again, we can print the report or download it using the various export options where we can output to PDF, Excel worksheet, PowerPoint presentation, TIFF file which is an image or Word document. When done viewing this report, we simply close the browser tab and go back to Reliance. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance Fault Tree overview tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.